I'm making a luxurious creamy pumpkin mousse. So the first thing I need is a cup of half and half. I'm just gonna pour it into a bowl, set over a pan of hot water. I'm just gonna turn the heat on. I just wanna make sure that the bowl actually is just sitting in it, it's not touching the water, and so it just steams. Otherwise, the, the mixture's gonna to get too hot. So the next thing I need is a can of pumpkin puree. It's a 29-ounce can. I'm just gonna put it right in. And now I need one and a half teaspoons of salt. And then some classic pumpkin spices, a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and two cups of brown sugar. I'm just gonna heat it for about four to five minutes until it gets warm to the touch. And then I'm gonna add some egg yolks, and make a custard. Just to make sure the egg yolks don't curdle, I'm gonna warm them a little bit with some of the warm mixture. Just put a little of the warm mixture in, mix it in. What it's called is tempering. Just bring the egg yolks up a little bit in temperature and then whisk it right back into the mixture. And then I'm gonna cook it for about three or four minutes until the mixture starts to thicken the way custard would. Great, okay. Next I need some gelatin. So I need a half a cup of cold water. So it's two packets. Just stir it in. So two ripe bananas, make sure they're ripe. Just mash them on the board. It has such layered flavors. A little bit of molasses from the brown sugar, the banana, we're gonna put some orange zest in. One of the other good things about this is you can make it way in advance, really three or four days is just fine. Okay, that's really well mashed. So I'm just gonna put this into the warm pumpkin mixture. Ooh, good and messy. One teaspoon of grated orange zest. Okay, so that's about a teaspoon right in. And it looks like the egg yolks have really thickened the pumpkin mixture. I'm gonna add the softened gelatin right into the pumpkin. Just whisk it in. Take it off the heat and let it cool. And I'm gonna whip up two cups of heavy cream. I'm gonna put some of it in the mousse and some of it for the decoration. Half a cup of sugar. Splash of vanilla. Just gonna turn it on and whip it. And then I'm gonna mix half of it back into the pumpkin mixture and the other half I'm gonna put into a piping bag. And I always like a nice big piping bag with a star tip like that. Okay. Cream's done. Just want it really firm but not over whipped. Just take a spatula and fold it in. This is sort of classic folding technique. Have the spatula go right down the middle. Just do it very carefully. Okay, that's good. So now I'm just gonna pour it into a mold. Just pour it right in. This is enough mousse for about eight people. Fill it with whipped cream. Really all you want to do is just press evenly on the bag and just keep rolling it around in a circle. Try it out on the board, test whatever you like. It looks difficult and believe me, it's not. Okay, and you always want to have some pumpkin showing in the middle. And since there's orange in it, I think I'll do a little orange zest decoration. Just gives it a little other texture and it gives people a hint of what's inside. That's that perfect, easy pumpkin mousse. And they'll always remember what you serve for dessert. Who's ready for pumpkin mousse?